We are here at GMSV Llewellyn, Ipswich. What are we here for? It is a new truck day. Today Ooh. we are jumping into the brand new 2024 Silverado HD. If you want to check this thing out, come and look at this. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No problem. Woo. We hear you asking why are we jumping into the 2024 Silverado HD when we already have the 2022 model. It just so happens we have a Jody from GMSV here who can run you through some of the key differences of the vehicle. And Taryn, feel free to jump in if you like. I think the first difference is extremely noticeable. What do you reckon? Slate grey, brand new colour Ooh. for 24. <laughs> Finally, we've been waiting so long for getting the grey. We love it. So apart from the color change, which has got the new slate gray, another really great feature on this vehicle is it's been totally redesigned in the front end. So we move from the Chevrolet lettering on the 23. We now have a really clean Chevrolet bow tie look, design and feel. These new signature lamps, they also have a welcome sequence when you turn up with your vehicle and you turn it on, it gives you a nice welcome. Really great news is that we have got some powertrain upgrades. So we do get additional torque. We now have 1,322 new meters of torque. All right, now we're gonna move on to the interior and I'll show you some cool stuff. I'm just gonna unlock it. Let them do their little dance. Welcome. All right, now we can get in. <laughs> And here we are in the interior of the brand new 2024. There's a lot going on in here. First things first, I'm going to start it up so you can have a look at this. So we're in the new model. Obviously you can tell the screen has had a significant upgrade. Yes. <laughs> yes 13.4 inches of infotainment system, which is awesome. Uh, some really cool things on the infotainment, obviously you've got all your same buttons, but what's really cool is on the right hand side is you can flick between a clock, your trailering and your music. Um, so it always stays on this side of the um, screen and then when you have your maps or like your Google Maps or anything, it sits on the, on the left side. So that's really cool. We maintain the column shift on the 24th. Yes. That's actually really cool because you've got a whole lot more space here. A lot of people are asking why. For me, it's all about space. We also get adaptive cruise with trailering uh, on the 24, which I know a lot of people have been asking for. Yeah, that means you can tow yeah. and use the adaptive cruise, yeah. which is, that's a huge upgrade. Yeah. So we have it on the 1500, now it moves across uh, to the 2500 as yeah. well. Uh, your trailer brake controller, you'll notice, is now sitting right close Ooh. to the driver. Uh, so we've managed to make that change as well. Your uh, lights and uh, features for your vehicle are on uh, the, the, the right hand side here and on the left here you have all of your 4x4 changing of modes etc. Yeah um, and up here we've got the heads up display so that's yeah, all that's, the, the buttons. Yeah head up display was also a really very big exciting. one to come across so we're really excited about that. Yeah. Uh, some of the trailering features I wonder Miriam I know you've got this in the 23 but I just think it's a really great view now of seeing across the whole trailering system yeah uh, versus it sort of sitting in the older style dash this now moves across into the new dash. it's a lot easier to access it's a lot yeah. easier to see and as someone who's not entirely confident with towing this makes everything a whole lot easier so when you indicate the whole it lights up down the side you can see what's beside you it's just yeah it really works really really well yeah Maintain the light test, which is also a really, really great. Uh, so you can do oh, connect a trailer. Well, we won't be doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> we have the light test uh, and also the checklist, which yeah, is also that's the, actually really cool. Yeah, the checklist is so you can go through and make sure that everything is working. Mirrors adjusted, brake gain, wheel chocks removed, tires properly inflated, etc. 
So I guess all in all, whilst there's some really beautiful upgrades in terms mm. of design, especially the exterior, the lights, the yeah. new system and, and the, the sweeping infotainment system, I think, you know, one of the main things is there has been a powertrain upgrade, which is fantastic yep. for anyone who does tow, especially on the torque side. 1,322 newton meters of torque yep. is also fantastic for anyone who is towing. We all know that we want a lot of torque when we're towing a, a big van behind Absolutely. us. So, um, so a lot of cosmetic upgrades that are amazing but a lot of functional upgrades as well that make this truck a whole lot safer and a whole lot easier to use. Jody and Taryn, now it's our turn to show you why we love the MY24 HD truck. Now before we jump into the upgrades in the 2024, we want to reassure you that all the luxuries of the previous model are still here, like this one. Check out the storage in the back. Huge rear center cup holders. And hiding holes. Not to mention all the space in the back seat. There's a pack of room inside as well. These seats, heated and air conditioned, and the rear is heated seats as well, which makes it super nice and comfortable. Still got the sunroof. So you get your tan on, hey, while we're cruising down the highway. Absolutely. The new model has a glove box at the top, the same as the old one, but slight change. You gotta push a button to open it. Took me a while to figure that one out. We have a seven speaker Bose sound system. With a subwoofer. When you turn this baby up, man, does it pump. At a press of the button, we can open and close the tailgate. Check out the size of this exhaust pipe. Ooh. Rear sliding window. Chevrolet lettering in the bonnet air intake. Camera. Camera here. Here and here. And here. Factory inlets for the GM accessory cameras. Fold out mirrors that also extend for towing. Rear vision camera. No more mirrors in this bad boy. This thing is sick, now it's time to throw the ADE touches to it. 